Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Very important for every trader. Uh, stay on as, um, as long as needed before you start uh, using a life money. There is a lot of risk in the trading, so be aware of it. Emotionally, some traders cannot handle winning and losing. So please take your time doing our experience. A lot of traders do not take the time that wind up failing in the in this uh, trading. Trading is a very serious business. It's all about money. You have to take it a little bit more seriously on this. And there is no magic in this uh, trading. Uh, you work hard for it. You earn it. You don't work hard for it. You're not going to make it. Simple as that. Uh, for the ones who just joined us uh, the first time, if we are looking at the market analyzer, uh, the first column here on the left upper corner, it is a, a new signals. You're very welcome to follow the signals and it tell you which direction buy or sell. Then we have the entry price of the signal and then the target. As an example, we have an entry price on the ES0075, target uh, 905.50. We are 15 ticks into the profit target hits, we tell you. Uh, on the pullback re-entry, uh, it is a re-entry, is a 900.50. This is your re-entry point on the ES. And then you have the NASDAQ. Right now is 146 takes into the trade. All this, what you see on the market analyzer, is based on one contract only. Not two, not three, not four. One lot. And every day we use the same time frame. We do not use Renko bar one day and we use uh, ticks another day and another day, uh, line break, whatever. We use one minute every single day for the for the many years. We we use the same time frame. Uh, the same story on the market analyzer, one minute, and we are using the $10,000. We're not using a full contract. So you're very welcome to follow also the signals for, for a forex and you can do the same thing with the stocks as well but we don't have enough room to do all this but uh, you can use uh, the stocks forex and the future using those signals on this chart here it is connected to this market analyzer and you have three different automated to trade atm atm strategy and a full automated trade the difference between the market analyzer and the chart, the market analyzer giving you straight number in and out. What is your target? So as an example right now, based on one contract, we have 431 ticks, total of 3,361. On the chart, uh, sometimes you get updates on the targets and a re-entry uh, tick by tick. So. And if you are using a full automated, then it, uh, it does on the bar close. So it's a little bit more updated, uh, depends on the market movement. And then uh, you're very welcome to follow those trades. We're not collecting money. We're not collecting emails. We're not collecting names. As long as at your own risk, follow us on a sim, very fine. Uh, we just sharing uh, our signal and uh, we're not getting anything back out of it. So uh, if you like it, you're very welcome to stay. You don't like it. We wish you happy trading. At the same time, we show uh, when we have a bad day and a good day, we do not sit uh, on the side all day long. And then at the end of the day, we just show what where were the winners? We show you when we are struggling. As an example, on Friday, we had a disaster day and it was life and we're not worried about that. So we will show you every single day what is uh, making money and what is not making money for today. 
on this market analyzer I just started ninja trader usually I start a bit early but now I just restarted uh, ninja trader and all the signals are new on this market uh, analyzer the blue market analyzer is the scalpers and as you see welcome to trading we are struggling with the Nasdaq scalping today and we are struggling with the CL scalping today but we just started the scalpers so those are the scalpers at the Ninja Trader 8 controller here, you can see the swing trading. And uh, this is uh, three different automated system here. The price action, price action, price action, scalper, and the swing trading. And during this time here, we are um, analyzing uh, what's going on in the market and we try uh, to give you where is the new signals and we tell you especially for people who are auto trading we try to um, highlight what's going on in the trade and um, and uh, especially for the auto trades to understand why sometimes your auto trade uh, any kind of auto trade why that auto trade is making money and why that auto trade is not as an example, those are the FIBs. Uh, I hope I'm not too late on that. This is a beautiful entry on the ES. And uh, there is a very good potential for this ES to go all the way up to 13.25. So 9.03 is a good entry. The exit is a 13. This is very good, nice entry. Uh, we will see how uh, as long as you follow us on the sim, uh, if you, you're not sure how to trade, that will be very fine with us. Uh, before I trade every day, or before uh, you wanted to trade, I always like to look at an empty chart like this one here. I can have a clean picture. This is one of the things most of the auto traders that never do. They just turn on the, uh, the, the auto trade, whether that auto trade from us or somebody else. When the market, you can see when the ES was stuck between those two, uh, those lines here, your probability gonna have a lot of problems. Uh, right now, once the ES break out from those chop area, this is where you need to start using your auto trades, and this is where you start making the most money. So it is very strong. Um, uh, I like to look at any given market to see how things are working with that market before I decided which direction I want to go for today. And uh, sadly, not uh, too many traders do that in the morning, but um, sooner or later you have to do that. Another thing on the pullback re-entry, those, the area here, the full automated to trade is a trading stop one. The trading stop one is based on the Florent Phipps. This is a minor support area. This one here is a re-entry, pullback re-entry. The problem is, like if we are looking at that chart here on the ES, the problem is uh, you, a lot of traders are using indicators following the market, whether it's an ATR or a MACD. When uh, the market hit the target, we estimate it. Everything here is automatic. You don't have to do anything. The system will plot all your target, entry, everything, whether you want to take it manual or auto trade. But uh, when the, uh, the market hit the target on the ES and the market dropped here, most of 95% of those traders indicators now is pointing the market down because they use an indicator following the market. They're not predicting anything. This is by now, whether you are using a Renko bar, takes, minutes now everything is pointing the market down 
and then the traders start taking shorts. We're on that system here. We identify this is a pullback re-entry. So when everybody taking a short, we are taking waiting on the market to come in those area to to take a long again. So this is the difference between retailers and a little bit more advanced traders because there is no short yet on this ES. And uh, just a second, folks. So we have a lot of traders, they wait on the pullback to re-enter the market. And the potential on those trades is eight out of 10. They're gonna be winners. And uh, you have a 2%, there's nothing 100% in this business. But most of the time those markets hold on those area here. And uh, we will uh, examine all the other instruments and we'll show you what we are talking about. So, uh, just a second, I'm trying to get uh, a little bit set up here. Uh, the the eyes today on the NASDAQ, and uh, you see there is a CL and NASDAQ on the uh, Ninja Trader 8 swing trading. So we're gonna bring down some of the trades from the swing trading to show uh, what's going on on those trades. Uh, I prefer to use or show the one minute. We have, uh, if you wanted to use ticks, we can use ticks. Uh, but when I'm trying to show, sh I'm showing the one minute. The reason on the one minute you get the clear picture if the auto trade works in one minute can work on every, any time frame. But if the system does not work on uh, one minute, that's me. No use to sit down and uh, over the weekend try to solve a problem where it cannot be solved. And a and, uh, one minute reveal the true uh, power of uh, this indicator or the strategy. That's why you see a lot of auto trades, they refuge to different uh, time frame because they cannot show you the one minute. So today we will be also showing you the minute. Of course, if you wanted to use the ticks or the three minutes or the five minutes, yes, you can. This is uh, the three minutes on the CL swing trading. This is the first trade for today. Actually, we started uh, those auto trades around nine o'clock today. And you can see what time we started nine o'clock. You know, I told you that uh, I start my auto trades when, when I get up in the morning. And uh, sometimes I get up for uh, the DAX and sometimes I don't make it uh, to get up and uh, trade the DAX if I feel like I'm tired, so I will um, just chase the US session. I, I, I skipped the European session. So now we are looking for um, a trade. Uh, we have the The YM is on a total different account, but I will show it to you. This is uh, the ATM strategy. And the reason I like the ATM strategy because I can I can decide if I need to stay on that trade or or move my stop loss or the trailing stop. So that's why I like the ATM. But uh, if you do not like uh, to mess with the 
system. You can use the fully automated. The full automated system will enter the market the same entry. But then, once you hit the target, it's over. Most of the time, you see the market, there is a good potential to drop the target a little bit further down if this market going a little bit further. Uh, so, uh, a lot of times, if, um, as an example, we have... The NASDAQ already hit the target, and then it gave another couple hundred dollars in here. So it's a waste in time and money not to take advantage of it. But if you don't feel like when I deal with it, you just keep it on the fully automated to trade, and and uh, you will be exiting on the target. If you, And if you are using the ATM, then you can decide you want to exit on some of the trades or not or you want to extend the targets this is uh, i prefer to get involved with those trades than uh, let the auto trade take advantage of the situation uh, this is the es we called uh, a few minutes ago uh, we are expecting for the es uh, for the ones they follow me on that trade uh, we are expecting to exit right now at 11.50. Before, I said we need to exit at 13. But right now, uh, on that trade, this one here has nothing to do with the swing trading or the, the price action. I just called that trade for you. If you wanted to follow on the sim, you're very welcome. Uh, I do that sometimes. I try to call one or two trades a day, no more because I don't want it to be uh, the room for just calling the trades. I want you to um, to learn um, how to follow signals and how to follow fibs. And I don't want it to turn it to, to just uh, calling the trades for you. I don't want to do that. So normally, if you look at those videos, I I call a couple of trades sometimes during the, the session. Um, normally, I get it 8 out of 10. And for the ones they follow me, they know that normally I get it 8 out of 10. I wish I can get it 10 out of 10. I do not. But uh, we get 8 out of 10. And, um, and I'm happy with 8 out of 10. So this is the trade, uh, we called it for you, right on the spot. Uh, you have a clear, um, clear way all the way up to those level here, and I will uh, let you know when uh, to exit on that trade. So when I see uh, the system, there is no new signal, I try to... Uh, call one for you and uh, this way you can uh, uh, you will not leave here empty-handed anyway so So this is uh, the ones we call today, and um, and if I find any, any new signals, I will be more than glad uh, to share those signals with you. Uh, the reason we are doing this is uh, a lot of traders uh, they they see people come out do promotions at night, and uh, once everything is over not doing the trading hours which has been causing a lot of problems by those amateur trading coming and expecting what they see after the fact when the day is over they see a couple of chart made a lot of money and they are expecting the auto trade this is the way it works 
And uh, the whole idea here is to show you that doing those sessions here, there is a lot of problems. Sometimes the auto trade, whether it's our auto trade or somebody else auto trade is irrelevant, but uh, uh, it's not as simple as people think. So a lot of people are been waived from the reality that uh, doing those sessions, there is a lot of a chop market. Sometimes the market is sideways. Sometimes we have an FOMC day. Someday we have a, the market gets stuck in the channels uh, and um, and the traders. Uh, they're given this idea that when you are auto trade, they're only seeing the winning trade after the fact, and they think that person have every chart is making money. That's not true. Uh, what he's showing is showing a couple, three, four charts made it for today, and he forgets to show you the other 80 charts that did not make it today. That's why you see a lot after the fact. They come and show you a Renko bar, and uh, they show you one day ticks, one day different time frame, because they cannot be consistent on one time frame. They cannot, before I get hammer, uh, excuse me guys, I'm gonna disconnect the Skype. So, uh, so the this, this misleading the traders has caused a lot of problems with the auto trading and they think it's just magic there is nothing magic with the auto trading it is a very good um, to let the auto trade uh, take our motions away uh, but uh, nevertheless if we if we don't understand what's going on then we have a problem with the, the trading and um, so what I'm gonna highlight right now, uh, I will try to show you how this market moving uh, during those time, and um, we will try to let you be aware when there is a problem in the market. As an example, right now, uh, this uh, we call that trade for you. Uh, the projection was a nine zero five. And now, if is any pullback on the ES, you bet it's gonna hold at uh, 905. So if somebody following us on that trade, you are in the clearance all the way to the 11 or 12. This is a very good money. And uh, this is a probably uh, uh, your best option uh, for today. And uh, we'll try to uh, find uh, for the Nasdaq. Uh, there is the Nasdaq is already uh, had the signal earlier today, and we are already on a two hundred takes is a way above the target. So there is not much we can do uh, on the Nasdaq, and now we are expecting to get reversal on the Nasdaq, uh, but. Um, We wait on, it's too early to call that trade on the reversal because we still in that trade on the ES and probably we are climbing to the 1175 if you are follow that trade we called. So if you wanted to know where is your stop loss on this one here, I will be more than glad to show you where you need to put your stop loss. Do not use a dummy trailing stop. This is really bad to use a dummy trailing stop, but I will guide you how to use your trailing stop. What we are using now, a, a trailing stop below the projection, not out and protected. This is very important folks when you are trading you should not use a trailing stop and protect it. You should be hiding behind a bar, a fib, projection, whatever you want to call it, call. But uh, you do not use uh, a dummy trailing stop on the trades like this. You always try 
to move your driven stop from one area to another and you should have a defense system you should have a projection or a fib line protecting that trade for you and if you don't do that then you will never be able to in the future trade in any way get in a big chunk of money on a good trade you will never be able to do that so this is uh, straight out first trade we call today and you are if you are on one contract you are 262 dollars up and i hope everybody we recommend to be on the sim because we're not allowed to call the trade for you uh, so please follow us on the sim and um, I'm sorry, sometimes I stay quiet because um, also I'm trying to manage some something else in here. Okay, so um, let's uh, go ahead and follow that ES trade. Keep your eye on the first column here. You will find uh, there is a new signal coming out on the first column here. Uh, the, you, there is a sound, but I do not like sound. So, uh, right now we are 400 ticks from the entry signal. It's not all day long, it is from your entry signal. Uh, let's look at the uh, uh, scalping. Uh, we are struggling on the scalper. We are really struggling on the one minute. And this is the 150 ticks. We use two different time frame. We use one minute and uh, we use uh, 150 ticks. And uh, right now you can see the one minute is really struggling and welcome to trade in. What you see, what you get, there is nothing we can do about it. Welcome to trading. Um, you know, for uh, the guys, now I have them off, but uh, for the guys, our members did not show up to the room uh, I'll try to turn them on right now. And um, we uh, we covered the, the B scalpers on five minutes. I don't have them on, but I will turn them on and I will cover uh, a little bit about uh, the, the, the scalping. Also, there is a very good time frame uh, in, the, in the public. We use one minute and 150 ticks because I don't want to change uh, the time frame. We've been using the same every day for many years. But uh, for our traders uh, on Monday, uh, it's the same link. Try to log in and, uh, you know, we are extremely busy. So, if you don't log in on Monday and see what is an update and um, what's going on, of course, we have a, a recorded. You can uh, ask for the recording. But um, it is much better if you are 
you can log in on every mon Monday for members only. Then you can ask and do the right mm -hmm. questions and you, we can share some settings with you. Uh, and um, it's sad, some traders now, they just want to follow us on the YouTube. But I just want to say to our members, try to come in on Monday uh, to see what's going on so we don't have to repeat ourselves constantly or uh, you can have the recorded webinars uh, but uh, it's not the same when you are in the in the room you can ask direct questions and um, so some traders or our members they are skipping the Mondays and coming directly to Tuesdays and um, Maybe it's not very smart. I'm sorry, I'm trying to concentrate, but also I will be activating uh, some, uh, what we have covered on uh, Monday. And uh, at the same time, I need to look on the trades. Um, uh, for the ones we called for, for you guys, uh, we still climbing, there is no problem. We still expecting uh, the 12th and which will be very nice uh, trade for you guys. Uh, on the NASDAQ, uh, uh, I'm doing something, but uh, once I'm done, we can find a reversal trade on the NASDAQ, or we can find a new signal coming in from the market analyzer. I just need to activate the B scalpers uh, for our members, and I want to show them something. Uh, I would like to cover it a lot of... Uh, members did not show up on Monday. So maybe I can take advantage of it and um, share this information with uh, our members. Just if you allow me a few minutes. Uh, yes, I'll, I will show you that. Let them kick in for a few minutes and then I will cover uh, the bee scalpers uh, and then show you what's going on. Uh, I just covered the NASDAQ one minute. And uh, this is your NASDAQ one minute on the swing trading. We started around nine o'clock and this is one trade and we are done with the NASDAQ. I've been, uh, I've been enjoying this NASDAQ a lot. Uh, the NASDAQ has become really nice to trade. Even I start liking it better than an ES. So if we look at the market analyzer, you look at those videos every single day. We go live, we're not hiding anything. And uh, you'll find out it's not unusual minimum uh, every day, 70, 80 ticks on the NASDAQ. What it makes me happy on the NASDAQ uh, for those guys have a small amount of money, uh, they still can trade and uh, they don't need to take um, a lot of risk with the CL and the DAX and uh, some other ones. It is an affordable instrument. It's much more uh, affordable than an ES and, and it moves uh, very nicely. If you get up a little bit early and you wait on the signal on the NASDAQ on the price action, uh, your probability is going to be one trade for today and it is over, you know, and uh, this is really uh, nice uh, to, uh, uh, to see. Uh, for the ES, uh, the one we called, we have a little pullback right now. Uh, uh, and uh, the stop loss, we use 904. 
So if you are happy for what you got, you can exit. Or if you would like to continue on that trade, we are expecting to be uh, 12, 11, 75, 12 to exit. But if you are happy for what you got, exit. But do not enter again, that's for sure. Or if you like to stay on that trade, then put the trailing stop at 904.75. And we are hoping that ES is going to keep climbing to the 11.75. So it is your call. But for me, I don't want to sell out of $200, you know, uh, on a trade. I would prefer to uh, just break even with a trade than uh, to sell out cheap. Uh, I prefer to get on every trade as much as I can. Could be 300, 500, or 600, or sometimes we see $1,000, then uh, to go ahead and exit on a couple hundred dollars, you know. The problem is this with the amateur trading that uh, after five minutes, he's trying to find a new entry. And this is when he started getting in trouble. And um, so try to learn that break even plus a few takes, hide behind a, a, a good area and uh, let it uh, do a job and be away a little bit from the market prices because the market is going to go back and forth a lot. And if you don't leave room between your trade, and uh, that is going to cause you problems. So now I'm counting on the projection, projection at 0 0.5 to hold. And look where is the market right now on the ES because of our projection. Now we are playing cat and mouth on one thing. You see? So either that ES is gonna hold on those position here. You see, you see, look. You see, we are playing now. We are fighting on one tick, you see? Right at the projection, folks. Accuracy in this business is, is priority. It's not the, the number of indicators, it's accuracy. And if we notice now the ES is sitting right at the projection, those are your $35 zone. This is your best investment you will ever get in this business. But now, if this market going to be breaking this 0525, then I want to give up that rate, you know, and then I will nail it one more time. But right now, you can see it's a cat and a mouth on a tick, you know, and, and this is where you are never be able to do this on Renko bars, honestly. And um, they look good, but the accuracy is missing, you know. Ninja Trader chart is in minute, nothing else. It's in minute. And that is the end of the story. So right now, we are right at the projection at 0525. And my, my trailing stop is 0.475 for a reason. So that's why uh, we decided to go live in front of the traders to show the good things and the bad things, the bad trades and the good trades. And when you are in a, a swing trading, when you have a big size, like if we take as an example, a CL. Yes, the automated trade, the automated trade is going to exit when the trend is over without any doubt. Okay. But uh, when you are on a 700, when you are trying to swing trade and when you are on a 700 or 800 or a thousand, why we need to give up some of this money away if we know where is the limitation on every market. So that is going to make a big difference. Uh, some people don't look at it this way, but if every day you increase your trade by $200, this is a $50,000 a year out of the window, 
because you're refusing to look at the chart. Uh, doing my experience, um, uh, we are, you know, we went public many years ago. It is like uh, you are sitting in a class, you know, you have some students in the class, uh, they get A plus, you know, and uh, some of them that will, they will get F, you know, or they will dump on that course or on that class, and they're all sitting in the same class. So what I'm trying to say, uh, the, the, the trading is like you are sitting in a class actually, or in the university, if you do your homework, you're gonna pass the exam and you're gonna go move on. And if you don't wanna do anything, that business is not gonna give you anything and that is guaranteed. You can change software, you can buy every auto trade. Of course, there is a one system is better than the others. I'm not gonna say all of them the same. No, some of them, they should not be even in the market. But what I'm saying is, a trader, it is, you have to look at the chart, honestly. You know, you cannot adjust ignition, lift off, and now we are in the moon. It's not going to happen this way. Now for those guys are following us on this trade, now we got some new problem. Is a 907 projection is coming right in there. You can see it's right there 907.25 so when you are trying to use swing trading automated trading now you know you are in trouble here you know you are in trouble here so uh, it is uh, for you to decide you want to exit out of that trade or look at this to the tick folks and this is an ES one minute live front of you we have a projection at 0750. Now the market is going back to the same old projection and 0525 and it's gonna drive you crazy between those two until those guys decide if they're gonna try to break those area here. If we are able to break that area, this is your lucky day for that trade. So there is a good potential we will be exiting at 12.25. So we'll keep our eye on that one. Uh, I wanted to uh, cover uh, later on for those traders has missed uh, the B scalper uh, on Monday and I will cover it here in the room uh, right now. I just need to I'll pull up a chart on the NASDAQ to see what's going on on the NASDAQ. Ah, uh, there is nothing right now. Okay. So, Watch this one, folks. Uh, after we, the automated trade is gonna give you that entry right there and you're gonna exit here, fine. And then you're out of the game. And we saw earlier, we were above 200 ticks on the NASDAQ. Now the, the NASDAQ is start taking a dive, fair enough. If we notice here, By now, if uh, any trader, amateur trading, using indicators, by now, whether he's on one minute, three minutes, Renko bar, ticks, you name it. By now, all his indicator pointing short. Momentum, MACD, double MACD, whatever. All those basic, they've been around for many years and they've been tweaked and tweaked and tweaked and renamed and tweaked, but this is the same 10 basic indicators. By this time here, this is where most of the traders start making mistake and losing money. They start jumping in on that trade because now their indicators, their ATRs 
like these, whatever. Momentum below 50, whatever, above 50, below 80, above 20, whatever. Now it's going down. And this is where most of the traders start falling to this trap. For our traders, don't get excited. We have a lot of new members. So even if you're auto trade, exit this trade, you nailed it, you're done. There is still a lot of option. We still can make money, even if the auto trade exit on that trade. Very simple. That's why we measure the pullback re-entry on those every single instruments for a reason. The market don't go back uh, up and down only. The market go back, reconfirm, and then keep moving. So this is a pullback. This is your trailing stop one. This is your trailing stop two. This is your re-entry point. This is exactly the market is doing what's supposed to. Pulling back, confirming to those area. And now we are actually exceeding those areas, the potential areas. But those here, for every trader we have, remember, give me those auto trades you have on one screen and uh, give me one chart or two chart on your SIM account and take those trades manually for me. Why? Because then you start learning all the tricks in this business when you are having a problem, when the market is moving, when the market, this is, is going to help you a lot. And you're going to see 8 out of 10, your trades, they're going to make it. Sometimes they're going to make it all the way to the target. Sometimes they go up. I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow, but I know if you wait, those trades, 8 out of 10, there is a lot of potential here, 8 out of 10. I cannot give you 100%. The, we don't have any magical uh, things. I cannot give you 100% on anything. But what I can tell you, this is 8 out of 10. And, and um, uh, this is a trader dream. If this is not a trader dream, then what? I don't know what you're looking for. We broke that... Now, I want to show, now we broke that area here. This is the second one. We broke it. There is a projection and there is a support line. This is where, for the ones are following us on this trade, now we are moving the trend and stop again below the resistance and the projection. This is where one trade, one trade for today or two trades a day, that is going to recover your account by using a dummy trade and stop. It is the worst enemy you will ever use in your trading. Yes, it is nice after a big damage on your account to see $100 and pack in. But you know what? If you jump in the water, your whole body is wet and there is nothing but left except your head. So if you were uh, trading and you lost a great deal of money, your whole body in the swimming pool, so what is missing is only your head, might as well dive in and get it over with. What I'm saying is, if you have damaged your account by not listening uh, to some people telling you to take it easy before you go live, fair enough. I cannot even get my own children to listen, so why strangers should listen? But uh, then when you, when you grab a trade, you need to hide behind some kind of FIBS, projection, resistance, support, and you can yank that trade all the way to the last tick in it. And what you're looking at this chart is a total investment of $35. That chart is $35 investment. So tell me where can you go wrong with this one, you know? Uh, so 
and this is a this is the tw this is a big piece of of that cake the the the, the trade in as the trade in is cut in three four pieces and this is a huge piece right there your 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 basic uh, knowledge you should know when you are taking a trade i need to know uh, where is the high limitation on that trade before i exit if you don't do that, even if you are auto trade and you say it's not my problem, oh yeah, it is your problem, because sometimes on the swing trading, um, uh, you have uh, six hundred dollars, eight hundred dollars, as you see. Uh, I need to know where where I am on that trade. It cannot be just blind and and blame everything on the. If I'm trading the three minutes, the three minutes is between the five and the one minute. And I'm um, a swing trade in the auto trade. That's fine. This one here is 375. This one is, uh, we call that trade, is 300. So at least I know that auto trade. I mean, the auto trade clues itself, you know. But there is a button on top here. It takes you one millisecond. You say, I'm happy for that amount. And today I'm done. You know, I'm happy for that amount. I don't want to trade anymore. And I'm done. So by knowing this knowledge here, the whole idea here, now we are going live, we are donating every day, two hours from our busy schedule, uh, not to just to sit down and tell you, look what this and this. I'm trying to try to open the eyes that to a trader that you cannot just shoot a blind in this business. You, you simply cannot. Uh, and quit blaming everyone you need to blame yourself first you know the driver behind every you know but uh knowledge i mean if if this one if this one 35 dollars does not even cover your pizza you know i mean i don't know if this one you refuse to look at maybe you are in the wrong business really because um I don't see it. I mean, I would never trade anything without those. This is basic. Number one, when you come out in the morning, you have to look at any instruments kicking the tires to see what's going on. I know here there is a chop. I know where it's going to be, pull back re-entry. That's exactly how we call that trade for you today. We know where to hide our trade and stop, and we know where is our target. It's right there. It's sitting right there waiting on us. Always pull back re-entry, folks. Look, the market to drop to this level here, you know, this those bars here is noises. They make you panic. This is noises. Then the market pull back. This is an entry. This is an entry. Then manage to break those area, pull back. This is re-entry. And the same story again. Pull back on the projection pull back again on the projection and now we broke that area pulling back on the second projection once you have a clear head a little bit of not being negative negative in the trading it's not going to get you anywhere and try to dismiss people with a negative attitude they're not going to get you anywhere um you know and um Try to have a clean mind to see what's going on. Uh, if you have a fight uh, with somebody in the traffic or children, wife or anything, maybe you should not be trading today. Just turn on the auto trade and not to look at the market. Maybe it is good. <clears throat> so I want to cover, I want to make sure just uh, for the ones are taking this trades, follow me on the right path on this one here you see how i moved my trend stop from one to another and keep hiding if i'm right on that trade i need to get paid very simple i'm not going to be settled down with a hundred dollars if i'm right i'm right and i need to get paid for it you know as simple as that if you're wrong you're going to pay immediately that's it. Nobody cares. Nothing. We're just in numbers. 
So your target is 1225 right now. And we will take it from there on that trade. So we'll see what will happen on that trade. Uh, for I wanted to cover seems like I lost everything here. Uh, for the traders has missed out on uh, Monday. Uh, this is your B scalper. Market order. Five minutes. This is your B scalper. Market order. Five minutes. Uh, we on on a, on a YouTube we are using one minute and uh, hundred fifty takes. You know, but for you as a trader, and I'm, I'm insistent to keep the same time frame on a YouTube because I don't want to be, I criticize those people using Renko bar and takes. And so I, I, I'm i stuck with the one minute and 150 takes, but we're going to recover those again on Monday. And those are not market orders. Those are live uh, market uh, they're not limited orders. They are uh, market order, and uh, uh, the the advantage on that, uh, as you notice, uh, even uh, for the ones they've been asking us about the DAX, if we can scout the DAX, uh, this is an amazing uh, results on the DAX, even just as good as the our swing trading on the DAX. So it's a very important, the same link to all our members, not to just to come on uh, YouTube, uh, try to log in on Monday uh, to see uh, if uh, we can cover that one more time and uh, try to learn a little bit more. If we notice, look at this folks. We can say the ones are following us when we had the, the stop loss here. We can say it was an accident. Truth. Look again, the same story. That proof. That's why nobody can come in life every day using one minute, show all instruments. Good luck with that. Finding somebody can do that. that nobody would dare do that. You know, <laughs> the same story we did on the previous projection is the same story again on the second projection when we move the trend and stop, the market pulled back, coming in, and it was the problem between us and the trend and stop was one tick. The same story happened 10 minutes ago when we moved it right there. You know, here's your projection. We put the trailing stop right there, the stop loss. And it was the same story here. The market came in right to this $35 zone you refuse to look at. So now it is very important for us to cross the 0925. Once we cross the 0925 now, if we are able to cross that, we are in a lot of enchiladas here. You know, we have all the way straight home to 912. If this ES is not able to break that area here, that's mean maybe it is, um, uh, it's gonna come and knock us out this time out of the trade. So now we know what's going on in that trade and we know look you see 
Trading is easy once you know what you're looking for. Really, trading is easy. It does not come overnight. I agree with you. But predicting the future, uh, it is it is a, a really a challenge. And and uh, look look at this. It's gonna break it. If it's gonna be break it, everyone follow us on that trade. It's gonna be on a very nice home run today. Right now, we're still going around in the circle based on the last signals. Uh, we are, okay, we're breaking it. We are a home free. Uh, we have 426 takes based on the last entry signal. It's not all day long, folks. It's not all day long. So, I'm trying to find anything useful beside the ES right now. I keep losing uh, the YM chart. Why? Okay. Here it is. Okay. And an ES. Okay. Okay, guys, we'll see what will happen on that trade. Uh, if you want to follow that uh, signal on the, uh, I don't know if uh, I was busy. I don't know if you had a new signal on the, on the YM entry price limited order entry price 89 level. 89 level it says 87 yes but i'm trying to give it a couple ticks more there is a new signal i didn't pay attention this is uh, right now this is the price entry price right now on the base a new entry on the ym and it is a very nice trade there we go Okay, we have a lift off. <laughs> we have a, both of them are up. Uh, on the, if whoever follow us on the YM, be careful, we have a problem at uh, 210, 6210. Yeah, we have a problem there. So if you don't want to deal with it, exit at, at uh, 26210. Exit on the YM, please. Or if you want to stay, uh, use uh, like what I've done here. There we go. We are about to hit the target on the ES, but we're going to jack it a little bit, see if we can get it. Uh, if you are on that ES trade, you're happy with your four or $500, exit at 12 even. Exit at 12 even. Exit at 12 even. And if you don't know where to exit, you want to move your trend and stop, move it to the, you know, I'm sorry, I cannot keep chasing, but this one here, at the exit at 6210, this is your trade and is over with right there. What's happened to the CL? Let me see the CL. Okay, the CL, we are going straight down on the CL. Uh, the target is uh, 6937. Uh, watch out for that turbulence on, um, we are about to break this one. There is one left, it's 69.52. Folks, it's very hard to cover everything for you uh, uh, when I'm trying three different systems. I apologize, sometimes I get late on covering something, but uh, there is nothing I can do. 
are, it is really hard uh, to cover everything at the same time. But uh, right now, uh, we got you three, four hundred dollars on the on the EAS, and we got you a few dollars on the YM. I didn't uh, follow the signals. I wasn't paying attention, but um, we called those two in time, and I missed out on the CL to call it for you. But we called those two on time, so that's that's very really good. Okay, uh, now uh, we need to see if this ES not gonna hold at 909, then close that trade. It is very important uh, that 909 hold position on the ES. Anything below that, close position, please. Now it is back to the same entry. Look. Look, if this one gonna hold, that's mean this NASDAQ is going back up. If this area not gonna hold, that's mean go ahead, lock in your profit with the 300 bucks better than nothing. It's over. Oh, okay. You see, this is where the key point right there. Okay, it's over. Close it, folks. Close it. It's over. Close it. It's over with the ES. I'm going to stand, or if you don't want to close it, you can pull it back to the 907, like I do. I'm going to leave a gap open between me and this ES. So if you want to do that, you can do that. If you nailed it, like what we expect in it here at the double resistance, and you want to re-enter the YM, sure. You can re-enter the YM right there at uh, 171. Follow me on the sim. We're not allowed to call a uh, live trade for you. Folks, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get a fresh coffee. Oh, CL, where is the CL? Here is the CL. Uh, we have a double support area at 69.52. Be careful with that one. You see where it stopped? So, okay. I broke it. We're gonna, you see, if you are on a fully automated trade, it's gonna exit right there and get it over with. But um, we are a human, we like to get a little bit more on our plate. So now the problem here uh, the double support line if we break this double support line, there is a good potential for 69.24. So there is a lot of bread in it. But if you are on a fully automated, you're going to be exiting on 69.35. Now, the market analyzer is based on one contract, but I'm using two contracts on the ATM strategy. So you can use one contract if you want to, or you can use 10 or 5, whatever can tick you. You can do that. But uh, it seems like we break in those area. We want to confirm it at the 69.51 on the ES. And then if we break that area, we have a lot of good potential, not even 69.34, could be a lot of potential. There is a lot of ticks between 34 and 24. And this is, if you think about it, every instrument, you will have that. There is a couple hundred dollars different on each one of them. That is a lot of bread to give away. The, let me try to cover this. You see? The market come back, pull back, and now it's climbing again. So 
because of the ES. So the yeah, this trade again the, for the ones are following the trades on the uh, YM, you're gonna have a problem again at uh, 6210. Keep your keep your hand light handed to close position because you're gonna bump into the same problem again at uh, 6210. So keep your hands on the mouth. Be a little bit light handed with it. Uh, for the CL traders, we'll see how we're going to manage out of that trade. For the ones follow me on the on the trailing stop, like what I'm having it here. Also for you, you need to... Oh, that's what we said from the first five minutes when we started the webinar today. Keep your eye on the 912. Keep your eye on the 912, and I try to keep my eye on it, and I will cover it for you. But keep your eye on the 912. If you still, on, okay, we have a projection. It seems like it's going to break it. We have a projection at 1025. Okay, well, nothing is easy. Okay, let's see. This one is about to break uh, the CL to 69. It is really, it is really hard. You don't know how hard it is until you try it yourself, be in the public uh, and uh, trying not to make mistakes uh, in the public and at the same time trying to cover everything with the three different automated training. Good luck with that. Yes, uh, this is an example, guys, on the ES three minutes, well, especially for those guys auto trading. Now you understand you are on a $600 a trade on that one. And now you can see what the kind of problem you're facing in here. So this is where sometimes a human can say, I'm, I'm exiting or not, you know. It's up to you. There we go. There we go. If you are on a full automated trade, you will be exiting at 69.26. And with the full automated trade, you can say minus three ticks from the target, and then the auto trade take it minus three ticks or five ticks from the target. And it is very good to do that. Like you say, three ticks below or above if you want to the target or at the target price with the full automated. Uh, so on the full automated, you'll get exit at 69.26, but you know, we are a human, you know, and uh, we are also doing very well with the ES. And it's the same story here on the YM. Uh, you gotta be careful with the, you got to be careful with the uh, 2610, guys. Keep your hands light on the mouth. You have to be light-handed. And um, when you are trading future, you have to have a light hands. Even if you are auto-trading, irrelevant. Okay. Um, uh, ES, yeah, I forgot to cover the ES. ES, we still at the high high here at uh, 9.11.50. It will be healthy to see above the 11.50 level. I mean, you know, between 11.50 and 12, there is not much, but uh, we are nailing it. This is very good. It seems like those... Uh, projection or holding at that level uh 10 25 final destination 12 25 uh, for the cl traders do not uh, let it uh, panic this is if is any pullback there is a re-entry at uh, 69 51 short any pullback there is a re-entry at uh, 69 50 And that's why I like the ATM. Now I move back the trailing stop and hide the trailing stop behind a wall. 
you know, because this is a floor in FIPS and my trailing stop was unprotected here. So what I did, I pulled it here because I'm expecting that market to drop. Of course, when the market moves fast, it's got to go back. Every time the market drop fast or go up fast, it's got to go back, reconfirm those numbers. Absolutely. So uh, uh, this over, sometimes it gets uh, blown in our face and it could be over. You know, we're not a genius sometimes. And sometimes there is a pullback and there is nothing we can do in the trading. There is no guarantee in the trading. Uh, every single trade we're going to be nailing. Uh, there is nothing. There we go. The EAS is climbing. This is very good. Let's look at the YM. Okay, like what uh, we expected. Uh, the, I told you to be careful with the 6210. This is a pullback re-entry. For anyone would like to try that life, it is uh, something really uh, amazing how much stress uh, you know we go through when we are going live trying to direct some traders how things go and it is really a challenge guys don't underestimate it how hard it is and uh, how hard it is we are donating every day two hours from our work it's not easy at all you know so there we go. This is a re-entry. I don't know how well it will be, but this is a re-entry. You're very welcome to follow it on Sim. And uh, the ES seems like confirming on the 9.10. So we'll see how the outcome. I wanted to go for fresh coffee. And uh, there we go. It seems like the re-entry price working. Very good. And whoever followed us on the ERC you just nailed based on one contract a little bit, a little over 400, 500. If you want to get greedy, that's very fine with me. Now we drove you all the way to the 12, as we said, expected this morning when we first started this webinar at 10 o'clock. We said, here is your entry and here is your target today. It's 912. And we almost delivered that. Now, if you're trying to get a little bit greedy, I can totally understand. And, um, you know, so there is a, yeah, let me tell you what you are facing right now on this. You are facing double resistant, third resistant, and final destination 1475. So if you want to be in that pot, now you are taking a higher risk. If you are happy for what you're getting, close at 450 and get it over with. So this is uh, the story for today. And look, the YM, we told you to be light-handed with your trade and we deliver exactly where we told you, but we are ex expecting the market is very strong. We are expecting the YM target is all the way up here. The system has put it there. so why we want to give away so we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if uh, that ym is gonna break or those level if we are and it seems like we are so we are on a very good potential trace keep your eye on those here area that will be very nice and let's see what will happen we have a projection at the cl at 69.39 if we are able to break that projection, then uh, there is a good potential for 69 level. And we delivered what we promised this morning. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. 29.12, as we expected at 10 o'clock this morning when we started trading. You know. So congratulations on your $450. Here is for those guys refusing. If you are a swing trader right now, you're going to have a potential for another 700. I have no clue. I have no crystal ball. And I'm 
By 12 o'clock, I get hungry and tired and I'm no longer interested. But when we are looking at this uh, market here, we know there is a good potential breaking up and there is a good potential uh, projection. It's 50-50 in those area here. So especially for those guys on an auto trade and it takes you one millisecond to close position, get it over with. And then what you need to do, either turn into SIM or you need to close your computer and run as fast as you can so the devil will not play with your head. A very simple, straightforward, guys. Very. You see how the YM is predicted? And this is, we deliver it exactly to the tick for today at 10 o'clock. And um, we also call that trade for you on the CL to the tick as well. But now start getting weak on that trade. So it's up to you. You want to stay on that trade or not. I'm going to go for a fresh coffee. I'm getting uh, beat up. Uh, we delivered on the ES. We delivered on the YM. And uh, we'll see what will happen. Five minutes, folks. Get fresh coffee. All right, all right, guys. Uh, we have uh, called you the third trade today on the sim, and um, 
to follow us on the sim please we're not responsible for your trades uh short trade in here we called it we called this ym the ym there is a potential climb into the automated to trade in we'll see and um this is a uh, exactly where we delivered the system you know uh for the ones that are following us i told you we have the institutional daily target monday through friday this has nothing to do with the automated trading every day from 11 to 12 except Friday on the first two hours. We will now, uh, for you as a retailer, you get the target one and target two. But for now, once it gets out of the ban, um, I'm trying to be safe. Once we get out of the ban, uh, there is a short entry at uh, uh, 1325 because this is a profit taken before lunch but the target is 13 we hit the 12 so this is uh, your call if you wanted to uh, take the short from here or if you wanted to wait till the 1325 and nail that trade uh, uh, reversal the reason is now is 1123 and those targets that comes between 11 and 12 except friday the first two hours is uh, technically out of the ban the resistant profit taken at 12 o'clock and i'm gonna stay with it today to show you you can there we go. Look at it, folks. I mean, you know, speaking, look at it. This is target two and target three. It is not for you. It's too complicated for you. So let's stay on the target one and the target two. And what will happen right now on the 13 level? Profit ticket watch it watch this market 13 level is going to be some profit taken because if i'm hungry they are hungry now it's 11 25. so this is it's going to be reversal and there is a good potential on that reversal to take it down all the way to 903 so I'm trying to guide you even when we exit out of the life for today. I'm trying to give you where you need to exit also. Okay, so your exit is 903. So that will give you around 10 points on this trade. Welcome to trading. Uh, for the ones uh, they follow us on the CL, they they didn't have time to follow us on the signal entry. We call that trade here at uh, 69.52, and we are going down with that. I don't know how many ticks you got from that 52. You are happy. So everyone followed us today. Nailed 475 on the based on one contract on the ES. Uh, the, y, uh, the CL is open. I don't know how many, where they, they got the entry, whether from here or here, some of you. And we call the trade on the YM, which you are $262. On and on, it is 10 times better than when you are taking those trades on your own. Very simple. I challenge retailers can do that follow three different markets and now three different markets in the same time. So right now I'm gonna stay a little bit longer to guide you on the ES. 
before those big boys go for lunch. Now we are flirting with the 12. If you are generous, you can take it short from here. And if you are tight trader, you need to take it from 13 or 1325. Watch this market. Profit taken at 1375. Profit taken 1375. Institutional number. This has nothing to do with the auto trade, guys. So don't get messed up. This is an auto trade. This is an auto trade. This is an auto. No, this one I called it for you. The auto trade got 45 ticks on the ES trade. Uh, based on one contract is uh, 550. So it was much earlier trade than what we we when we called that trade. But uh, this is the area where. 1250 so we are shining away two ticks but this is where the short trade at 13 1325 you call it the profit taken is 1375 folks i don't know how each one of you can handle it you want to short it out from here you can you want to wait till it gets 13 or 1325 you can final destination on that is going to be uh 10 points actually so it's your call Watch this baby, watch, watch folks, watch, you know, watch this profit taking. You know, sometimes those poor guys, they sit down behind the screen, they don't understand the game. Look at this. Thirteen. We got you all the way to 13. If you want to short trade that one. The target is 1375 folks. Watch this one here. Look how those institutional muggy. It must be the YM. Yeah, the YM. Look at those guys, how they, they're not smarter than you, believe me. They only got more money than you do, but they're not smarter than you, believe me. Kiss the ES goodbye. We are 13. Twelve seventy-five. Profit uh, taken at 13.75. That might get a couple bars above that just to put, uh, knock you out, but kiss it goodbye. The ES is over. Kiss it goodbye, folks. For the guys has not closed that trade, take, close that trade is finished. It's over and it is a reversal. Is finished. Yes, good luck. Anybody can come out live. <laughs> And show us also the YM guys is over because the ES is over. Look at this, guys. Thirteen 
13. And kiss it goodbye. They might play you one bar or two, but it is over. Technically, it's over. The ES technically is over. Lunchtime, and uh, there is nothing can be done on the ES. So, We're still on uh, the CL trade. We call that trade for you. And now it's confirming those trades. Okay. So I think uh, we did extremely, extremely well. And um, and um, whoever follow us today uh, is a very happy camper. And um, we're gonna wait a little bit longer, a few minutes. Maybe we can. Find something for you to keep you busy the rest of the day. If you notice, folks, what we are talking about, the ES is stopped. The ES is stopped exactly as expected. And uh, maybe going to go up again to the 13 level. But uh, this is the destination for that ES for today. So we'll try to uh, try to stay a little bit longer. Uh, to see how things is gonna uh, fall on this one here. But 1375, it is uh, the target. It is really amazing. Come on, we need one more tick. One more tick. Good. So guys, 1375 confirmed, profit taken, and is over. I'm gonna be uh, quiet for a few minutes and uh, uh, we will, um, see how this ES, I like to show you how this ES gonna come out on a reversal. The CL has been confirmed those level where we called for you. 
and the target we still uh, gonna try to get the 6919 Also, timing timing is very important. Now it's eleven thirty-seven, and uh, where is the lunch hours? And when you know where is the target before lunch, that is gonna make a difference uh, on the trade. Okay, the EIS now start losing momentum and start losing the pressure. Uh, this is where the reversal, and this is your target is uh, 903. This is a lot of a bread, it's almost 10 point. But of course you need to watch it uh, on the way down. Uh, and um, we will see how things gonna come out. So we did not just showed you all the way going up, nailing four or five hundred dollars on one trade. Now we are about to show you how you can also take advantage of it on the way down. And there we go, folks. So if you notice a trade and once you have somebody guiding you, you will find it very easy and the reason is because maybe you're not, your eye is not trained uh, to take a trace or you're not trained to know what's going on. Uh, and that the only time it's gonna come out is when you do your work in there, when you do your homework. It's exactly like when you are in a class in the old days, when you have somebody making the first in the class and the other guy is uh, carrying the flag with uh, getting a lot of. So for for us technically, uh, this one, is finished. And there is no more a long trade on the ES. Even if they try to tease you with one bar or two, it's finished. There is nothing uh, can be done. It's 1140, target two hit. That's me in a profit ticket. Very simple, clear. And um, one bar up or one bar down is become irrelevant to the Technical wise, it's, it's finished, it's over. Uh, lunchtime, your target two, out of the band, resistant. Finally, technically, is a short trade. And you can see the YM losing momentum. Uh, based on the last entry signal right now, we are up to 632 ticks based on one contract and one minute. All those right in front of you, uh, so there is no, uh, we called some trades manually and uh, the ones, uh, the signals, applied in there is right in front of you. At the moment we have uh, 50 ticks on the ES and um, 290 ticks on the NASDAQ based on the last signal and uh, 48 ticks on the YM, six ticks on the Russell. Uh, don't let them fool you guys, this ES is over. There is nothing. Uh, just knocking you out of that trade. Gold, eight takes, wow. 
DAX 127 takes, 79 takes, and then 30 takes. Total of 652 takes for today based on one contract. I want to say uh, tomorrow, uh, the same time at 10 o'clock, I want to say it's been a pleasure serving every one of you. I hope today uh, was good for every trader, whether it's um, our member or non-member, you're very welcome. We open our heart to everyone. Come and share in our system with you. As long, again, we're, we're not responsible for your trade, uh, you're very welcome to follow anything. We are sharing those signals with you. We're not collecting your name. We're not collecting money. And, um, and I doubt it very much that any other room you are paying for it can give you better performance than what we are doing here for free. We'll see you all tomorrow, uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time, the same channel. And um, I wanna say special thank you even to non-members, all the compliments uh, we've been getting and uh, some of the compliments that were really funny one guy says, Sam, you are a musician. I mean, you know, you're just magician with this uh, market. Uh, some people are following those trades and they're not even our members have, we have helped a lot of people and uh, we have shown you the good trades and we have shown you the bad trades. We piss off a lot of competition. That's very good. And, um, and um, it cannot get any better than that. I'm very, pleased with everything. Uh, God bless you all and uh, see you on uh, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the same channel. Bye for now.